80 miles from the coast of Libya. A Turkish warship pulls alongside a suspicious vessel, preparing to board it. Sites like this are common in this area, as the ships of NATO Operation Unified Protector ensure that no contraband is taken in nor out of Libya. This suspect ship is actually not suspect at all. It's a Romanian warship and part of the NATO operation. Special Forces soldiers, who train regularly in exercises like this, fast rope down from the Turkish helicopter and secure the landing platform. A boat carrying the rest of the soldiers pulls up to the platform and the team climb aboard. The crew of the vessel have been instructed to stand at the bow of the ship so that the soldiers will have an easier and safer job of searching for any weapons. The soldiers reach the crew and search them. The mission is completed. This is typical of the sort of activity that's regularly carried out for real and has successfully enforced a UN embargo on goods that stops a Libyan regime continuing its assault on civilians. While attention focuses on the airstrikes, this embargo is part of a package of measure being carried out by NATO in this region. The boarding here was a demonstration for Lieutenant General Charles Bouchard, the commander of Unified Protector, who was visiting the flagship of the naval operation, the Italian aircraft carrier ITS Garibaldi. It's from this ship that some of the strikes against pro-Gaddafi forces are launched. Our approach is to decrease the ability of command and control, remove the ability to sustain logistically these troops that are attacking civilians, directly engaging, when needed, those troops that are bringing fire on civilians and civilian population. With over 150 missions per day flown in this operation, as well as 20 ships patrolling the embargo zone, there is a heavy draw on resources, a subject for speculation in the media over the last few weeks. General Bouchard is happy, however, with what he has. I need ships outside to do the embargo. I need ships inside territorial waters. Uh, I need uh, helicopters flying across the board. So from my perspective, we are getting uh, what we, a, a good blend and a good balance of resources to do that. He was also keen to stress that the military aspect to Unified Protector was not the be-all and end-all of the campaign. This campaign is done in coordination and synchronization with Political effort, diplomatic effort, economics, it's across a wide ranging. It's the comprehensive approach to bringing a solution in Libya. The ITS Garibaldi is just one part of a complex machine that has many components. General Bouchard is clear, however, that they are all working to one end. I do not have a uh, mandate for regime change. My mandate is clear. My mandate is to bring violence against population to an end. And we will do what we have to do to ensure that the population is safe. Until that moment, missions like this, and like this, will continue. This is Josh Fortune, aboard the ITS Garibaldi, for the NATO Channel.